Come get me, you fool. You idiot. Oh, you're scared to jump, aren't you? Well, I'll get you. Yeah. See that jumping sword smash? What is going on, United Clans here? I'm back in your life today, and uh, obviously back at Ocean's Glorious Gate. Look at that thing. How good is that? All right, and then uh, today I wanted to go on an expedition. I wanted to attempt a little caving. Uh, that is something we have not done yet. Uh, and, oh, jeez. I'm pretty sure this is an island. I'm pretty sure I can circumnavigate it. Uh, so let's, let's start out. Moving around this circle, and uh, I wanted to uh, talk to you guys today. I don't know, I've been finding Minecraft, I've been really enjoying it because we've been having a little heart-to-heart -heart in each of the last few episodes, so today I wanted to talk about travel. Um, it's something I've not done enough of in my life. I'm 31, uh, and I just, I kept finding excuses not to travel. And I've had the same kind of bucket list trips on my list for years now. And that's just silly. And I know the reason that I'm bringing it up is I know a lot of the viewers on this channel are younger. Um, oh, whoa, 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 get yourself. Hey, get off. Hey, come on. All right. Shall we? Yes, I'm looking for cave entrances. I just did some recon and I couldn't find any. Uh, so let's just keep circling around this island. But yes, I know a lot of you guys are younger, especially on this Minecraft Ocean's Gate series. Um, and I wanted to just uh, reinforce what a good idea it is to travel. And tell you, from my perspective, I'm probably 10 years older, even more. Uh, maybe even 15 years older than a lot of you guys. And um, I just want to say, if you get the chance to travel, I know... Uh, one of my subscribers I was talking to this week is telling me he was headed out on a cruise. Um, and now a lot of you guys are young and still live with your families and that's cool. I would I would just kind of, you can't really do much about it. But when you get old enough, when you get breaks uh, in college and university uh, or, you know, you start a family, it's so worth it to just travel. Um, my trip that's been on my list lately dang do you guys see any fricked up caves that looks like one oh, but it doesn't look very deep let's just try this side of the island if i have to stop talking and go cave hunting and continue this once we're inside a cave i shall but um oh yeah l nice little river inlet here but yeah my bucket list trip has been to go to nepal now Nepal is uh, in the Himalayas, uh, in the mountains, basically right near China and Tibet, um, north of India, and it is this crazy beautiful place. If you ever seen pictures of Mount Everest, a, a lot of the country looks like that. Now, did I think I saw a cave or am I just insane? I totally forgot where we were looking. Where, where, where would I have seen a cave? Maybe it was over here by the lagoon. Yes. Yes, that looks like it might be a cave entrance. Um, uh, yes, so I'm gonna go trek in the Annapurnas, which are this sort of ring of crazy shark tooth shaped mountains uh, in the Himalayas. And that's been my, t my, my trip that I wanna do, and it's been that for so long, and I keep making ex It's not a cave entrance at all. So, oh, is that one? But that's not gonna be very good. How can that thing get very deep? Should we just dig in? Screw it, I'll go back to the boat. I'll keep talking. Whatever, maybe we'll maybe I'll search for a cave this episode and we'll go climb it. We'll go explore it next, because I wanted this episode. I want to record a couple today. Um, so where, what was I saying? Yes, yeah, so I want to go hike around these crazy shark tooth shaped mountains. Oh, what a fool, unite the clans. Get your stuff together. Remember where you're supposed to be going. No caves around here, right? Is there like just less caves? Like I know there's a bunch up high, but I want to go deep. I want to search for diamond. We got no. Well, come back here. We got no good stuff. Um, 
Right. So I want to go trek in these mountains. And what that means is, like, you can go for a very long time. The only expensive thing is the flight over there. Uh, actually, staying there is really cheap. And you basically just, every day, for however long you're there, you hike between two and five hours, uh, basically between these little stops. And it's such a well-traveled trail, but only by foot, uh, that every couple of hours there is like a little spot to stop and there are tea houses where you can eat and drink and refresh and there are little like uh inns or i don't you wouldn't even call them hostels they're like little little mini hotels i guess or bunk houses it depends on w exactly where you are at the time um uh, but yeah and the meals are two to five dollars uh and the nights in the hotel are the same price uh, no, you're not living glamorously. A lot of people pack a sleeping bag, but you don't really need to. Um, screw it. This is where I'd already been around to. Heck, guys, I'm gonna just we're gonna we're gonna force our way into a cave. We're gonna just I don't know. We'll have to dig our way in. Oh wait, maybe there's, no, there's nothing up there. Brack, what what the heck? How are there so few caves on this giant mountain island? Uh, should I take my boat back to my base? Screw it! Get me out of this thing. Yes. And so yeah, you hike around and you, you know, really get in touch with the local people there. Uh, they're really friendly because their whole economy, their whole thing is based on these trekkers, these kind of western tourists, usually, you know, Canadians, Americans, and some Europeans. And, um, there's a couple seasons a year that are really great for going there, and it's just one of those last, like, untouched spots. The longer I wait, the less good this trip will be because, oh yes, yes, this is what I was looking for. A way deep, to, oh, that's not so deep. Is there an easy, oh, there's iron though. Yeah, let's get down there. Let's just get down there. Oh, well, let's do it this way. And yes, you're right, I have a wooden pick. I'm just trying to break it. As soon as I get down there, I'll make a better pick. Can you even pick iron with wood? Uh -oh, it's okay, I got a stone one too. All right, we'll get a little bit of this. I'm, I'm kind of more or less geared up for caving. I don't have a bucket. A bucket's always a good idea when you cave. Uh, just so you can get up and down places or put out lava. But we can make one when we get down here. We'll make one with this first batch of stuff. I got beds. Uh, which I'll need to set a spawn point and sleep. I'll need to make sure I do that because I broke the bed I slept in last night. I was exploring for caves. But yeah, I want to I want to get some exploring done. And, oh, I can't do that. Fool. Idiot. It's been a long time since I attempted that maneuver. Just give me three. Yes. And I'll set up. This is going to be our base. Heck, I might even wall it in. Yes. Give me just the dirt. That's the easiest thing. Make a little dirt hideout. Here we go. But yes, the same the same kind of instinct you get to explore when you're playing Minecraft. I get it in my real life, and I get it uh, fairly often. But now that I've started the YouTube channel, I don't know when I'm ever gonna get to make this trip. You know what I mean? Because I wanted to go for like six months. I'm never gonna be able to get enough videos done to go away from the channel for six months and even if I did you guys would lose touch because everything would be six months old by the time you got to it um, why did I sell myself in here oh right I should just sleep the night we'll do that we'll hide a bed down oh, let's just let's just give it a little a little of this action one two three four it's gonna be perfect five six seven we'll throw a bed down here and there you go. Yeah, the same instinct you get to explore in Minecraft, I get in real life. And I bet a lot of you guys do too. And if you don't get it now, you definitely will as you get older, as you kind of go out on your own. So we're going to leave this as like a little place to retreat to. Uh, actually, let's set up uh, this stuff here. And we'll move, our, we'll move our base camp down a little further if we have to. So we'll stick you in there. We'll give you some coal. We'll give you that iron. And then we'll throw... Oh, I hear... There you go. Anyway, and I don't want to miss my chance to do it. And it's possible that I'll just never get around to that trip. I'll, I'll go on other trips or I'll lose lose track of it. I won't, I'll forget that I really want to do it. Oh, it's two, It's another ravine. 
Right, right. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we've been down this. Right. Oh, I got hiccups. Dang it. That's going to ruin my recording. All right. You can't mess with me, pal. Uh, anyway, I just want to make sure you guys had that little bit of perspective from uh, from somebody uh, who's a little bit older. Just to say, like, if you get the chance to do cool trips, go do them. Because it may be your only chance. And I, I think I passed up a, a real chance to take that trip. Uh, and now I'm wondering when it will happen. Uh, if I will get around to it. I just want to make sure I don't lose anything down here. Or fall down. More. I don't want to fall down either. I just got to give this zombie a way to... Give us a way to go chop that zombie's face open. Um, so I was hoping you guys could hit me up in the comments. Talk a little bit about either places you want to go or places you have been. Um, and uh, if some of you are approaching kind of like... The later years of high school let me know oh i need to oh i need to go make a stupid old yeah <gasps> oh oh lord i am the worst jumper in the game in the in the history of minecraft that's a one wide block and i screwed it up oh lord thank god i got saved there this is where the base was get these out of here these are unnecessary yes give me all of this yeah, so I just want to make sure you guys uh, had that little bit of perspective from me. And if you've got, you know, if you got places that you want to go, if you're getting a little older and you're thinking, oh, my first, you know, summer off from college or university, this is what I want to do, uh, let me know that stuff. I'd love to hear it. And if you want to know more about the trip that I was hinting at, the Annapurna trip, oh, should I take this stuff? No, I got another bed. I got everything I need. We'll leave everything here. And if, yeah, you want to hear me talk more about that, that's a place I would love to go. Uh, I have a very good friend who went there years ago, and it was right around the time I had been thinking about it. I've been thinking about it independently, and he started talking about it, and man, I got so hyped for it. I honestly, I was planning everything around it, and then I can't remember what happened. I can't, I, I hit some kind of thing where I just kind of like, I went from having a decent chunk of money to not having any money. I, I don't know whether I went back to school or I, I finished a job or what. I can't remember why this trip got put on the shelf, but it did. And now I don't know when we'll get there. See, this is why I want a bucket. Do I have one I need to make a bucket? Yes, I do. Let's make a new, let's make a new workbench. We'll need one to travel with. You can go up there. Um, and you know what? We're going to do back-to-back -back caving episodes. Because uh, this one uh, will wrap up in a little bit. And then, uh, okay. yes, give me a bucket. And then we're going to have to go get some water. And we're going to use that as our elevator. You come with me, pal. Come with me. There we go. Yeah, so today we will, we will, uh, we will cave. I'm going to record back-to-back. -back. So you'll get this episode. You'll get another episode. I wonder what the easiest way the water is. Did I just fall down here? What a absolute fool. Did I? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Okay. We'll just build a little staircase out here. We'll go to the edge of the water. Um, also, goes... Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I've had a few. I almost... Uh, I had a really good opportunity to go to uh, Iceland uh, last year, and it was just so tight for money. I had actually, the reason that I didn't do it is I had already been planning on taking like a, my first ever resort vacation. I'd never gone to a resort. I'd never taken one of those um, kind of like, you know, pampered type vacations. I'd never done that. Why would I waste wood up here? Why not just use this? Wood is going to be valuable if we get into a deep chasm. There we go. And we'll get some of this. Um, but yeah, Iceland is another very cool place. It's, uh, it's basically the whole island is almost sitting on top of a semi-active volcano. So it's got all this geothermal energy. Uh, which basically just means heat from the center of the earth coursing up through it so you get these crazy hot springs lots of really neat uh, spots I mean I also want to travel my country I'm Canadian 
uh, as I'm sure you guys will notice if you've seen the uh, amount of uh, Canada Day stuff that came out on the channel right around the beginning of July. I did a video on the Lion Dark. I did an old retro, you know, truck cargo hauling type game uh, that was really fun. And uh, go. And uh, I'm sure you guys will pick that up. But I'd love to see more in my country. I haven't even been to the West Coast. Honestly, I have done. I have done far too little for a for man my age. Oh, you didn't die. You're a fool. All right. Well, I got a bucket of water now, you old bastard. You're about to get. You're about to get dumped on. Um. Give me. Yeah. Nope. There we go. We'll just do that. Oh, where do you go down? Okay, there you go. There you go. There you go. Come get me, you fool. You idiot. Oh, you're scared to jump, aren't you? I'll get you. Yeah. See that jumping sword smash? Now I can't get this fool. Come down here. Stop being such an idiot. I'm going to destroy you with my blade. Yes, that is what I was after. So we got more coal here, guys. What I'm really looking for is the good stuff. Oh, you know what? This is brilliant. I've dammed this up before. I'm going to swim up it and take it. Just to replenish our bucket. All right. I should also have a bucket for lava if we find any of that. Now, this, this is it? This is the whole thing. Oh, god damn. This is the whole fricked up thing. This is the whole cave. This is a disappointing chasm. Cavern. Canyon. I'm really... Yes, this sucks. I'll grab all the rest of this coal, but... You know what, guys? Uh, I think uh, that's going to wrap it up for this one. Like I said, let me know, you know, trips you're planning on going on. Uh, trips you've already been on. Let me know what you're thinking. Hit me up in the comments. I'd love to hear that kind of stuff. Love to know the places that really get you guys excited. And if that crosses over to Minecraft. When you play Minecraft, do you like to do that? Do you like to just set off in a direction and see what's out there? Or are you a bit more of a homebody? Anyway, geeks, I think I've said enough for today. But tomorrow, you know what? I was going to do the next episode, next week's episode from down here. I might just gather this up and we'll go back and next episode we'll finish up uh, over at the house. So thank you for watching, geeks. I'm Unite the Clans and I will see all of you in the next episode of The Mind.